Hi, my name is JD. I am an educator here at OMSI, and today we're gonna to talk about biodiversity. So we're gonna go outside today and we're gonna look at measuring biodiversity. But before we talk about biodiversity, we have to talk about an ecosystem. Ecosystems are a combination of all the living things and all the non-living things in an environment or in an area. So when I walk outside and I look at an ecosystem, I see things like trees and I see things like grass and I see things like dirt and rocks as well. And all of those things make up an ecosystem. So in our ecosystems, we're concerned, we being scientists, we being you at home as well, we're concerned about the health of the environment and the ecosystem. And so we, the way we measure that health is with something called biodiversity. Biodiversity is a measure of all the different kinds of life in an ecosystem. When we think about the different kinds of life, you can think about animals, you know, plants, funguses, like those disgusting mushrooms that your parents make you eat, microscopic organisms that you can't see but are crawling all over the place. All of those make up the life in an ecosystem, but also remember the non-living things as well. And so when we're measuring biodiversity, we're thinking about all the different kinds, meaning species of life that live in that ecosystem. Now, today we're gonna to measure biodiversity using something called a quadrat, okay? Not a quadrant, but a quadrat. Scientists use squares made out of pipe or plastic that they lay on the ground to measure how many different species there are in an area. If we tried to measure all the species in an area, it would take us forever. So we're gonna measure a small amount and then we're gonna extrapolate, we're gonna guess how representative that is of the bigger ecosystem. I bet you don't have a quadrat at home. I don't either. So instead, we're gonna use a hula hoop. If you don't have a hula hoop at home, you can use anything. You can use a garden hose, you could use string, you can use pool noodles, something that's firm and something that's hollow so that you can lie it on the ground and count what's in it. It's important when we're counting things like biodiversity to be random. So I don't just put my quadrat where I'm gonna count all the species on my favorite plants. So to do that randomly, I'm gonna toss it behind my back. We have randomly placed our hula hoop slash pool noodle slash fill in for whatever quadrat you've got at home handy. Um, the other tools we will need for this are a piece of paper and a pencil. Bonus points if you have your science notebook with you. The other tool that is handy to bring out is a magnifying glass if you have it. All right, the first thing we're gonna do before we do anything else is look at our environment. When scientists are measuring anything, they wanna know what the surrounding environment looks like. If you're in your backyard or your park or your favorite nature spot, go ahead and take out your notebook or piece of paper and sketch your environment. Do a quick sketch, it's not art. Just do a quick sketch of what you see. Are there trees nearby? I've got a maple growing over me right now. I'm gonna draw that. If there's a stream nearby, draw that. Draw your environment. Talk about how warm it is, how cold it is. Make sure that you know what your environment is before you leave it. Next, once you're done with that, we're gonna look in our quadrat and we're gonna identify all the different species in your hula hoop quadrat. Just looking at my quadrat here, my hula hoop, I see five different species. I see something I recognize here, Himalayan blackberry. I see a dandelion here. I see a lot of dandelion in here. I see a species I don't recognize, but don't worry, again, we can look that up later. Just make sure we make an accurate sketch of it. I see a little Douglas fir seedling right here. And then I see some wild strawberry, a native species. Now that we've counted all of our species, we have what's called our species richness for this area. If you wanna do a better job and get more bonus points, you can randomly place your quadrat in different places around your favorite nature spot and get a better idea of the species richness for the area. Right now though, we're gonna have a species richness of five for this little park behind OMSI. The next step is to get species abundance. If species richness is the amount of kinds of species, Species abundance is the number of each species in that environment. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna count all the species that we just identified and see how many there are for the area of my hula hoop. 
Scientists are really concerned about preserving the biodiversity of ecosystems around the world. And you can start learning by trying this experiment at home, how these scientists measure biodiversity. Biodiversity, research has shown, produces healthier, more stable ecosystems. And so we're working to teach you how to see what biodiversity looks like. If you want to follow up with this, try doing a quadrat survey in your lawn or in a grassy patch and then doing it in something like a garden and see what the species diversity is.